Welcome to a Saturday afternoon chat. How are ya? I just finished snowing here and got a little central PA and I'm here to talk to you about a few things. Um, last week, my Willis family video, well, I got some comments on that one. I was called a juvenile and an a-hole, which, uh, yeah, I get it. The things that come out of my mouth make me seem juvenile and an a-hole, but it's, again, it's never out to offend anybody. I mean, yeah, I got an opinion just like you do, and, you know, because they named all their kids that start with a J. I got an opinion about that. I think it's weird. You may think it's cool, but I think it's weird. So, but that's what's great about YouTube, that's what's great about living in America. We can all voice our opinion, and yippers, you can call me an a-hole and juvenile, but I have to live with it, but I can still give my opinion, so it's all good. <laughs> so I'm sure none of these things, I'm sure one of these things, I'll be called the same thing again. So, the first topic at hand, Chris Jenner blasts Caitlyn for her transition. You didn't warn me early on. Um... Shots fired. Chris Jenner still seems to have some issues with Caitlyn Jenner as she slammed her ex in a new sneak peek for the April 10 episode of I Am Kate. The fight, which was caught on camera, is a must-see TV, and you can watch it right here. I believe this is the clip. Oh, and then they'll say I'm false advertising because I said that people thought I was interviewing the Willis family. Yeah, because I'm that much of a, I'm, I have that big of a YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, don't think that. If you're watching this and you think that I'm going to interview Caitlyn or I'm not going to show you the video on my teeny tiny iPhone, you need to get out. Having been married was 23 years, okay. now that she has done the presto changeo, presto changeo, does it in any way make you question yourself and who you were during that time? No. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Did she tell you early on? No. Oh, I did too. Oh, yes. She keeps saying she told me, but she didn't. I think what happened was, <laughs> what happened was a conversation in a driveway. He says to me, do you ever want to have more kids? And I said, oh, God, no. So he says, oh, either do I. That's like, that's great. And I couldn't have any more kids if I wanted to. And I went, wait, what? What? And he goes, oh, geez, you know, back in the 80s, I messed around with this or that, and it kind of screwed up my sperm count, and, you know, but whatever. He could have been, like, steroids for all uh -huh. I knew, because he was an athlete. Yeah, never said that. estrogen, never said he just said, I took some <laughs> in the I 80s. Some I mean, whatever word. There was no, I'm transgender. I it never was, said. I took some stuff in the 80s, and my sperm isn't good. I said I had a condition that I've been dealing with forever. I said that I was on hormones, and that's the reason it might be tough to get pregnant. And my friend said, have a bottle of wine, and go have great sex, and we did, and we had Kindle. And then a minute later, we had Kylie. But none of that was, I want to be a woman. I certainly told her what was going on. My version of what happened at the beginning is obviously very different than her version. At some point in your life, Wow. So, Chris Jenner just wanted a little action from Bruce, now Caitlyn, and he's got low sperm count, so hell heck no. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to say about that, because, you know, yeah. Um, <laughs> The Duggar family is being compared to the Zika virus as Jill and Jessa counting on cancellation speculation continues. Disapproval of the Duggar family's new reality show, Jill and Jessa counting on, is starting to spread among TLC advertisers like a virus. One media expert has even compared the family to the Zika virus, a devastating disease that has been linked to severe birth defects in newborns. Is everyone okay? It has become a serious problem in Central America, which is where Jill Duggar and Derek Dillard are currently living. Um, hold on, what do I got? Like eight million um, Facebook notifications going on here. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. I think I got them all. Um. The eyeballs of these Duggar devotees aren't enough to make the series a success. TLC needs to air ads during the show, and more and more companies are asking the network to pull their commercials from the available counting on time slots. There's no way TLC can keep this on air. 
said David Johnson, CEO of Strategic Vision PR. TLC may think the family is rating gold, but to advertisers, they're more like a Zika virus. Yeah. Let's just go down here. Because the Duggar family is against birth control, there's a pretty good chance that Jill could find herself with child before she returns to the state. However, she and Derek in indicated they aren't taking warnings about the virus very seriously when they decided to joke about it on social media. I knew I could count on Walmart to have what I need to combat that Zika virus. Oh, they, they got some off. Isn't that cute and funny? They may be able to joke about fighting the Zika virus with a bug repellent, but the missionary couple probably isn't laughing about the Duggar family's new show acting as an advertiser repellent. Oh my gosh. So they're down there in Central America. Yeah. You know, getting a little of this and a little bit of that. She's going to get, the, they're going to get the Zika virus because they don't believe in birth control. So there you go, Jim Bob and Jim Bob. Yeah, come on, tell me about how it's a religious decision and call me juvenile. But they could get the Zika virus now because they don't believe in birth control. Fantastic. Fantastic. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is that Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson, she's fat shamed in a viral meme. Summer is coming crap. I put this at the beginning of this video. Alana Thompson is a 10-year-old girl from McIntyre, Georgia. Her favorite color is pink. She loves chicken nuggets, and she has a hilarious, unfiltered sense of humor that she landed her own reality show before she lost all her baby teeth. Otherwise known as Honey Boo Boo, Thompson shot to fame. Tiana Tollers and Tierras, yeah, we know. Uh, but pretty much what it just goes on, and it's pretty sad. I mean... Yeah, it's Honey Boo Boo, she's a public figure, but you know, they're making a fat shaming meme out of a kid, you know. I may have said a couple things before, but yeah, obviously I didn't mean it. You know, she's a freaking kid, you know. Let her, I mean, really, let her eat what she needs to eat. I mean, I know there should be a, a healthy balance in there, but she's a kid. She's a kid, let it go. But yeah, so that's all I've got to talk to you about today. You know, very pressing issues there. Caitlin should have been a little, a little more forthcoming. Um, just because he couldn't produce babies anymore, supposedly. So, hey, I'm going to become a woman. Um, the Duggars are going to get the Zika virus because they can't keep their heads off of each other and they don't have any birth control. And Honey Boo Boo is being fat shamed. It's a sad day. Very sad day. All right. I will see you all soon. It might not be next weekend because I think it might be going away last minute thing so i may see you in two weeks from now but anyway until then i will continue to be a juvenile a-hole until next time see ya all right sorry about that oh my goodness bye-bye <laughs>